guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Angelo 333. I hope you're all doing well. Just a couple announcements before we get started. Everything you need to know is in the description box. Uh, there will be an extended reading link uh, if you'd like to check it out. I will, uh, from this reading, look at the next three weeks energy. We will see where the energy, where the energy goes, and I treat it like an almost personal reading. So, with that, let's get started here. I'm going to pull first a couple oracle cards here. The Hidden Truth Oracle. So, this reading, uh, we're going to pick up the energies with you and your person, and we're going to see what they're feeling at this time. So, okay, so your person says, I hide behind material things, all right? So I'm just going to say sometimes they could use work as an excuse or they work to try and forget about, right, you. Um, you know, it's kind of like a, um, a defense mechanism, you know, but they could be, money could be very important to this person too, right, too important. And then we have, I want to feel that way again. And then bottom of the deck here you have, I feel you are leaving me behind. All right. Okay. So either you walked away from this person or maybe you've just pulled back your energy and haven't really, you know, been given them the time of day or something here because they feel like you're, you're, you're kind of leaving them behind. Right? I'm hearing like dust in the wind. <laughs> okay. Uh, interesting that I'm hearing that song. I don't even remember who sings it. And look at that. Look who popped out here. The king of pentacles here, right? Somebody who, you know, money is a very important factor to this person. They could do well financially. So let's see what the energies are here. I'm going to pull your cards and then we'll go through them. We'll clarify what's needed as well. I'm going to make sure we have enough room. <laughs> Got strong Capricorn energy. A lot of water here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Sagittarius energy. There's love here. This person loves you, Aries. What I'm seeing so far. Libra energy. Okay. Bottom of the deck here, we have the magician. I don't know why I don't have room. I had room before. Okay, let me just adjust the camera here for you. All right. So, Aries, I feel like this person's trying to manifest you, <laughs> is what I see here. But we have uh, the Four of Cups, the Devil, we have the Six of Cups, and we also have here the Two of Cups. All right. I feel here, Aries, that... What your energy is showing me here is that I feel like you're not happy with the way, where things are at with this person. I feel like you have, you and this person have a very strong connection, a very strong soulmate connection. I feel like the two of you have mutual feelings. The feelings are there. That's not what I feel is in question here. But I feel here with this Four of Cups and the Devil card... Um, I'm going to say here, for some of you, you may feel like this person um, is, is, you know, possibly, uh, you know, entertaining other people, I'll say. Uh, that could be what you're feeling here as well. Maybe feeling like this person has, you know, rejected you in some sort of way. It's definitely an energy here of not feeling content where things are at. Even though I do feel like you still have feelings for this person, I feel that you feel a very strong soulmate connection with this person. And I feel too with this magician, it's like you're wanting this person, I feel here, to take some sort of action, to make things happen. 
And what I'm seeing here, I feel here with the Queen of Cups, like I said, I feel like this person has love for you. They have feelings for you, okay? And I feel like this person wants to confess their feelings for you. They want to confess their love for you. But I feel like there's something here, right? They're not they're not giving a whole lot at the moment. You have uh, the temperance card here as well. So I feel they're trying to be very disciplined with their emotions at this time. I feel like um, they're only giving a little bit at a time. And I feel like too, there could be something here around timing. We're gonna go back and we're gonna see why they're not, why, why are they not giving a whole lot here with that page? I also feel here too, if there has been no contact uh, with you and this person, I feel like too, there's, there's a message that's coming here because they're feeling like you're leaving them behind. Now, in your mutual energy up here, you have the five of wands, you have the knight of wands, you have the strength card, and you have the hermit. So I feel like, um, Aries, that you may be feeling like this person is playing with you, you know, not being, um, I'm just going to say, right, someone who isn't consistent. You may feel like there's, you know, other people around or this person is talking to other people or dating other people. It's going to be different for all of you. So I feel like that's the struggle here with you, um, Aries, is that I feel like, you're not seeing this person make things happen, right? You're seeing this person here as being, right, inconsistent. They have one, one foot in, one foot out type of energy, okay? And there may even be some drama, some uh, blocks here, interference by other people. But I'm also seeing here you have, uh, we have Leo energy and we also have here Virgo energy, I'm seeing that your person here, like I said, they're being very disciplined, uh, very controlled about their feelings and their emotions. Now with the Hermit card here, um, I feel like this is somebody who is really trying to figure things out. That is why they're not, I feel like with this page here, that's part of the reason here, they're, they're not giving a whole lot at this time. There's something I feel like your person is trying to figure out. Right, and they're gaining the strength here to do something, I feel, about um, the situation. So we're going to clarify and we're going to see what that is. So we're first going to start here. Now, I'm going to clarify that for our cups in your energy, Aries, because I feel like potentially, too... There might be some other other people around you as well. You may have other offers, okay? So let's clarify that Four of Cups, right? Or see what why that Four of Cups is here. Why is the Four of Cups here, please? Okay, all right. So we have Gemini energy here as well. We have the lovers, we have the king of swords, and we have the nine of swords. So I feel like you may be feeling like this person, there may be somebody else here with the lovers card, right? Some of you, that would only be if you have, you know, the suspicion or, you know, you actually know that there's somebody else involved. But it may also be that you just feel like this person has not given you the clarity that you need, right, around uh, why they have not made any decisions or things didn't move in the direction that you wanted it to, right? They didn't make things happen. And you may be also feeling like they haven't been honest about something because there's something here unhealthy with that devil card. Okay, so um, I don't know if I said that's Capricorn energy there as well okay so we have uh, the four of swords here too okay so i feel like there's separation or distance between you and this person all right so let's clarify um this let's clarify the temperance card sagittarius energy why is temperance here please okay Look at that. You got the Queen of Cups here. 
and you've got the King of Cups here showing me there's mutual love here. This is somebody, there is mutual love, I feel, between you and this person, but they're not showing it. Definitely showing me, just like I said here with that temperance. I feel a very self-disciplined energy here. I feel like this person is not showing, right, how much they do care and love for you at this moment. It's like things are at a standstill here. Okay, now your intuition may be right. Maybe there is something here that they're not telling you or some sort of secret. Uh, but we're going to clarify now this page of pentacles and we're going to see why, why is this person not giving a whole lot or is this a message coming through? Why is the page of pentacles here, please? Why is the page of pentacles here, please? Okay. Okay, yeah, they're worried. Eight of Swords energy, they're worried, right? Because you have the Seven of Swords, the Six of Swords, and you have the Empress. I feel like this person hasn't been honest, completely honest with you about something here, okay? So there's something they're not sharing. I feel like you're already picking that up. I feel like you already know that here, okay? Got strong Libra energy. So that's why this person, I feel, has not taken the action or confessed completely their love. This could also be a confession, right? Being honest, being truthful about really what the situation is here. Okay, so this person hasn't been completely honest because they're up in their head about it. And there may be some other circumstance that they're in that they feel like they can't change at the moment, okay? So let's uh, let's go here to the strength card. Why is the strength card here? Why is the strength card here? It feels like a little bit of a complicated situation area or there's other people involved here or some drama or something like that. Okay, so we got the page of Pentacles interesting because we have the page over there, page of swords. And the Hermit again, and we have the Knight of Cups. Okay, I feel like this person is gaining the courage to come towards you, all right? So um, I see a message here, okay? This is my good news card. This is my message, my text, call, whatever, you know, whatever, uh, some sort of communication that's coming your way. They're building the courage and the strength because they feel you leaving them behind, right? To reach out to you. We have the Page of Swords. I feel like they've been probably trying to spy on you. But I also feel here with the Hermit, they're trying to figure out what the best approach is here to come towards you. You got the Knight of Cups here. Look at that. Knight of Cups and the Queen of Cups. So I feel like you're going to hear from this person. This person is hoping that uh, you're going to be receptive to them. Um, and that you still have feelings for them is what I see there, right? They're not too sure, right? They're too, they feel like you're, they, you're moving on and maybe you are. Okay, so let's clarify. I'm going to clarify that five of wands. What's interfering in this connection or relationship? We have the queen of pentacles. Let's do one more. Okay, Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, lack of consistency, lack of commitment, lack of offer here. Um, you got the Page of Cups and you also have here the Two of Cups. So even though they have a very strong connection with you, I feel like this is somebody who, they just give a little bit, um, but they don't give enough, right? And I feel like for some of you, this could also be somebody here who, um, because there's lack of just, I feel, even though the love's there, lack of emotional investment and lack of actually taking things to the next level, all right? I feel like there could be somebody else around your person there with that queen of pentacles there too, okay? 
there could be another situation that this person is giving to, and you would know that, right? I'm going to say for some of you, it could be another relationship. Your person could be another relationship or even married, but that's not going to be all of you, only if you know that. So I'm going to pull some more cards, and I'm going to see where this is going, all right? And then we'll take it to the extended. What else can you share with Aries? What else can you share with Aries? There is that nine of cups keeps coming up. So I feel like this person, right? They're coming around. They're coming around. I just don't know if this person's going to be serious this time. Ten of wands. Hangman. Death rebirth card. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Taurus energy, the hierophant. Let's see what's below the hierophant. Five of cups. King of swords. You know, I feel like for some of you, this actually could be somebody coming back around, you know, being more serious than they were in the past. Um, but you have here the Knight of Cups, the Ten of Wands, the Hangman. Okay, this is showing me there's an end of delays, showing me transformation, a new beginning. This person's coming around again or coming back to you, hoping for, right, a romance, making that offer. I'm going to say they do have, um, unless your person is in a relationship, and that's only if you know you're in a third party, I feel like your person here may be actually coming towards you, wanting a relationship there with the Hierophant. But we're going to take it to the extent, and we're going to look at the next three weeks energy. We're going to see where it goes. I hope to see you there, Aries. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.